today's breakfast we're going for around nine to ten thousand people. Um, so it's really a, a four month process to get to this stage and it probably takes three days to set up. Well we hope to run out of food because we don't have to throw any food out or uh, hang on to any food so we go to those numbers because we know that every year that we usually get rid of that amount of food so it's gone within two or three hours. When I think of Anzac Day, I think of how all the soldiers died in the war and so I feel lucky to be here in Australia. I think a service is a good time just to uh, have that moment to think about um, what the stories are that are being told to us. It means Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. I wore the scarf thinking it would keep me warm. It's a pure wool scarf made in Australia and it's uh, given to uh, the, almost all members of the RSL in Victoria. I like to think that uh, they never forget the people who fought for this land, you know, and I don't never forget our people fought for our land and together, uniting together, that's what I like about Anzacs. So I come and I do the, our ancestral traditional call, uh, which is known as the karanga, and I ask God to bless the, the purpose of this day, this service. And then I uh, acknowledge the ancestors by calling to them, and they know that we do acknowledge them. <laughs> I joined the army as a boy, I went in at age 15. I knew a lot of men who served and some who didn't come back. And for me, it's an act of remembrance. There are those who say it's a nonsense that we are commemorating a defeat, but often they say celebrating, which is a wrong word for Anzac Day. It's a commemoration really. And Anzac Day has caught the imagination of the public generally. We've had a very diverse experience of making our contribution to the world in all sorts of uh, conflicts and peacekeeping operations and, uh, and many people have uh, made sacrifices uh, not in the normal form of, of conflict. Um, so today I'll be reflecting on, uh, on those things, on those people and on how I can do more, I can take that motivation to be worthy of that sacrifice and to make the most of the opportunities that they gave us and continue that work of perfecting our own society and making our contribution to the world. The atmosphere of the people has been very good here today and uh, I'm enlightened by the, uh, the respect and, uh, of, the, of everybody, including uh, the younger generation. And uh, it was a most enjoyable day and uh, I look forward to the afternoon reunions with uh, a few of my comrades.